What's up, guys? I'm Tim Geddes. I'm here with Brendan Graber. It's a me, Brendan. I really like that. <laughs> so we are celebrating Nintendo's 125th birthday, and we are doing so by playing some of our favorite Nintendo games, like New Super Mario new Bros. New Super Mario Brothers. Not to be confused with the old Super Mario yes. Brothers. This is the new one. Which now is kind of a silly name because it came out in 2006. And there's been like six of them? Six new Super <laughs> Mario Bros. So yeah, it's kind of like the, a new series in the Mario. Yeah, franchise. it was kind of like a back to basics. Mm -hmm. uh, using the best that we had come to love from Super Mario 3 or Super Mario World. Back to the platforming roots and just really digging into what made the series so spectacular was its phenomenal platform design. And What's they really didn't disappoint. Yeah, what's so crazy about this game too is now we look at it and we're like, oh, okay, yeah, it's, you know, we've seen like a million of these. But in 2006, when this came out, it was the first 2D Mario platformer since Mario World. Yeah, it was crazy to, to think that, like, for a while we had been spoiled on um, 3D Marios. But even yeah. then, we weren't even spoiled by 3D Marios. Like, we had Mario 64 and Mario Sunshine. Still. That was it. <laughs> That, that, that was uh, going like, wow, we'll never go back to the way things were. Yeah. But no, we did. We bet. Yeah. With the 2D side scrollers, uh, first on, you know, on the DS and on the Wii, and the New Super Mario Bros. U, and the New Super Luigi U. I mean, they were they came back and, like, people say, like, you know, oh, there's the same thing over and over again. But if it works this good, do you need to change it? Yeah. I mean, every iteration, they would find some new technique to master, whether it was different suits or whether it was like power hats or mm -hmm. penguin things they would find a one or two things per world and then they would spend the rest of the world mastering that ability or that new technique yeah oh shoot <gasps> uh, but that's what i really kind of love is like no matter how you play it whether it's 3d or 2d platforming is always a highlight in mario games oh yeah and it's so the controls are just so fluid and so good this is actually my least favorite of the uh Mario platformer. Oh, well, that's not true. The second one on the DS. Second one DS was uh, is probably my least favorite of the, the core Mario platformers. Um, but it's still a great, amazing game, and that's what that says so much about oh, Mario games and Nintendo games so in general. Close to the end. I'm ruining it on, on, on our Let's Play. <laughs> Dying. Yeah. It's but I also love that it would off. incorporate uh, previous themes, um, not only the different worlds, but. Uh, that there will be like the secrets to uncover. Every world will have like one or two hidden mm -hmm. areas that you have to find by going through like alternate like you know routes. Yeah. Or finding hidden doors. And even just the world map. Oh yeah. You know like that's. I miss that. So simple and but like it just works. And this game is crazy because it does feel more like the older games, but it has the oh. look of. Mario 64. Yeah, so it kind of combined. I guess I guess where the new came from. It, it was a new design, old formula, tried and true, mm -hmm. with new tricks up its sleeve, like the uh, the big mushroom that we got our. That did not work. Oh no, I just screwed it up. I think I could go to an outside area to do that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the, the big mushroom made, made its debut uh, in the New Super Mario Brothers. and uh, I thought it was a pretty cool addition to be able to just destroy everything in your path for like areas at a time. Yeah. Um, and like the propeller hat and the penguin suit that they, the series would go on to do. And then we had like the Super Mario Brothers U with the acorn hat. Um, they had a lot of tricks. Yeah, and this is a full blown Mario adventure portable. Yeah. Which is a, a pretty big deal. Like we had Mario Land and uh, Mario Land 2, which are classic, classic games, but they felt different. Like they didn't feel like actual core Mario Bros. Oh, no, games. No, no. Oh, there you go. And even the wall jump. This is the first yeah. time that was in a, a 2D Mario game. Oh, and I'm so glad they put it in because <laughs> what what would this game be without the wall jump? I think like a lot of the pro strategies come from those like last minute saves. And of course the boss battles. It was funny because, you know, the 2D Marios were never really put boss battles to the forefront. Mm -hmm. It was never a, like, you know, oh, your boss was at the end result. The end result is really the platforming. Yeah. And then, of course, Dry Bones Bowser was, yeah. like, the big reveal. Um, oh, yeah, at the end of this one. Yeah, he comes out. You see him, like, in that he fell in the lava, turned mm -hmm. to a skeleton. But it's not till the very end that you realize, like, oh, shoot. And then he actually, you know, turned into his own thing in um, later Mario games, like the uh, Mario Kart. Yep. Showing up there. Yeah. So it was nice. It brought a lot, and, uh, brought a lot of new things to the series while keeping it tried and true to that formula. Let's see if I can do one more stage before we, mm -hmm. we head out here. Just random. 
And plus, there was that the classic design of every world has its own theme. Oh jeez, oh jeez. There was like, you know, your your sky levels, your water worlds, your ice worlds. Oh. It's okay. I'm sad, Tim. It happens. It, it happens to the best of us. I wrote I wrote the guide on, on some of these Mario games. It was one of some of my first my first wiki jobs uh -huh. was doing Super Mario Brothers, uh, New Super Mario Brothers two for mm. 3DS. And that was like my, my first real task was to find all the, the star coins. Mm. And they could be really challenging. Oh, Nintendo definitely. was really good at like seeking them away in like the places you would never expect to find. And some of them would be like, oh, it's just right there. Why can't you get it? What's wrong? And then like you have to find like this really crazy method of, uh, oh boy, altering the environment or platforming up to it. Mm -hmm. And of course, secret pipes. And it's funny because we're on the second screen. I can't show you because I'm on the top screen right now. But that was also a pretty cool thing that I almost forgot about was uh, this new thing for the DS was utilizing both screens. Yeah. Not just as a, a map function, but saying like, hey, by the way, now everything's down here. You went down a pipe, so now you're on the bottom screen. And that Nintendo is always like really clever with little, cute little things. Yeah, that they, don't they know really how matter. to defy expectations sometimes. Yeah. You think you know how to play a Mario game, and all of a sudden it's okay. Now the mushroom thing's moving with you. Didn't see that coming, did you? <laughs> but yeah, with the. Uh, with, <laughs> oh, but with all Mario games, it's like you know the core game isn't that challenging, and it ramps up as it goes. But to get all the secret coins, to get all of the the red coin challenges and all that stuff. It is a challenge, and it yeah. is hard for people that have grown up playing Mario games. And that's what's so good is that you get such a wide range. Yeah, it's 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 a welcoming challenge, I think, um, to people who are either familiar or new with the series, because it kind of like it doesn't hold your hand, but it kind of says like, okay, here's what to expect. Let's go through this course, mm -hmm. almost like you know you're going to school, you know, and then your final exam is like like Star Road, where it's like everything you've learned comes into practice. Oh. <sighs> These physics. You need a little more practice. <laughs> I think I'm in uh, new Luigi mode right now, so I'm looking for his uh, his crazy jumps. Um, yeah. But you know, be sure to share your experiences yeah. with uh, your memories from the new Super Mario Brothers series, especially mm -hmm. on the DS. And uh, stay tuned because you know we're doing even more Let's Plays of the best Mario and Nintendo games. So we're to keep yeah. it locked for more Mario news, Tim. Yeah. Happy birthday, Nintendo. 